Hello, Khlimurha. I just woke up and as you can see, the sun is shining into my room. I can hear the birds outside and it's nice. This is a nice morning. Yurin called me to get out of bed, but I first watched a couple of vlogs. Don't tell Yurin. Yurin and I are gonna Skype in a bit and after that I'm gonna go to work. I was just looking above me. Let me show you guys. This prickly lamp that's hanging up. It's just hanging there with like a tiny string. It's positioned above the bed. So if this falls, I'll probably get killed by a lamp. Seriously though, if that falls off the wall, I might lose an eye. I made breakfast, my roommate made me some tea and I got an orange and banana smoothie right here. I had like four cups already, so this is the last one I'm having. Yurian and I are gonna Skype in a bit and that reminds me. Yurian got recognized at work by one of you guys, which is totally cute. And he WhatsApps me, he's like, ah, one of your viewers said hi, but um, I am so stupid I forgot her name. If he said hi to Urien at his job last week, leave a comment because he doesn't remember who it was. He just remembers that you were nice and that you had a fa face piercing. So leave me a comment because then I know who said hi. Let's solve this mystery. In last week's vlog I did the weird pictures of butt storytelling thing. So I told you guys, send me a picture of your butt as a joke. Well, I got my first butt pic. <laughs> Leave a line sentence and this is apparently like something you put under your pants so your butt looks bigger, I suspect. So if you want a big booty, you apparently can have one. And in last week's vlog, I did fortune telling with books. And I also said, send me your questions if you want your fortune to be told. So I'm gonna fortune tell a few of your questions. And you guys said that it was supposed to work better if you actually use a book that means something to you. And my roommate has Harry Potter in the closet. And that's a book that means quite a bit to me. So I'm gonna fortune tell from Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Yurian, don't once at me. I'm doing some serious spiritual stuff here. And sorry for the noise in the background. People are doing their thing, whatever that is. Oh, I know, I'm living next to a car garage. So that might be what sounds. These are. Stephanie wants her future to be told. And she asks how the future of her new cat will look like. Well, Stephanie, me and Harry Potter are gonna answer all your questions. Stephanie's cat's future. This is your sentence. Welcome to Hogwarts, said Professor McGonagall. I think your cat might be a wizard student and um, it's gonna be a magical ride with your new cat. You're set. Mario Line, Leave a Line, wants to know what her future at work might be like. Well, very lame. Dumbledore and I are gonna answer all your questions. Don't push it, he muttered. I've heard Snape can turn very nasty. Well, maybe don't push your boss for a race, because I hear he can get very nasty. Oh my god, I wish Snape was my boss. I'd be like, I'll stay in after work to do more work. <laughs> I'd so be working full-time in that job. But yeah, don't push it at your job. Stay in line. That's not the actual advice I would give you. I would say, you're worth it, go for it. But the Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone says you shouldn't push it. Just so you know. And if Snape is your boss, I wanna be your colleague. Just let me know. And you and I are gonna Skype now. At least I hope. <laughs> If he's not online, then I'm not gonna Skype with him. I'm so bad, it's already 12 o'clock and you and I are gonna Skype for like at least an hour and then I have to go to work. <laughs> and then tonight I'm meeting my friends, so when am I gonna edit the vlog? I think it's gonna be very, very, very late night, but it's seriously all my own fault because I've been chilling in the kitchen with my roommate. I've been staying in bed watching YouTube videos. I've been talking to you guys for ages. I've been replying to comments, so it's, it's, it's all my fault. I never learn. And now you go have breakfast, you little. Bye, Yurian. Skyping with Yurian took the whole morning. And we had to stop because I really need to go to work now. Um, I have 20 minutes to get there, which is a little bit tight. But if I pack quick, I'm not going to be late. I hate running late for work. I try to never do that. Running late for classes is to your own account, but running late for work is on somebody else's account, so that's why I don't like to be late for work. I was already on my way, but now I'm back home because I can't remember whether or not I closed the door. So let's check. I have this very often. 
But I just don't remember if I closed the door or not. I did close the door, but now I'm late at work though. Five minutes, so I'm gonna bike like a crazy person. I just finished my shift and now I'm gonna bike home really quickly to have a shower and wash all the grease and flour off of myself. And then my friend's gonna come over. We're gonna hang out. Hey guys, my friend just left and I'm making some food because I didn't have a proper dinner. I had a bagel at my work, but that was about it. I didn't vlog today for over 10 hours. So today's vlog is gonna be really short. It's one o'clock. Oh, it's actually half past one and I still have to edit. So it's gonna be four in the morning when I go to bed, if I'm lucky. It's definitely my own fault. I did this to myself. It's how it always goes. I could have edited in the morning, but I was scraping with urine. Yum, pasta. This is the vegan bolognese sauce, which is some whole grain pasta. I'm now editing the vlog in which I show you guys my hypermobile shoulder. And I actually personally never seen it, like from a different perspective. I've actually never seen myself do that. So I was actually f a little bit freaked out by my own body when I was editing this vlog. Really freaking creepy that my shoulders do this. In case you didn't see it, creepy stuff in vlog number 83. There's a butterfly in my room. Dude, what are you doing here? Go outside. I'll try and catch him in a bit. Put him outside. It is indeed now four in the morning. I can hear the birds outside and I'm done with editing. I'm now uploading the vlog. And it's time for me to go to bed. Yeah, I should really go to bed now. Of course I watched some YouTube videos, but I should really go to bed now. I'm sending you guys all my love from Berlin. Tomorrow I have a photo shoot. That's gonna be nice. I don't know exactly what we're gonna be doing, but we're gonna work with fresh flowers, and that's also something I really like. And it's gonna be a studio photo shoot, which means it's gonna be inside. I really hope maybe tomorrow I can film a photo shoot. I don't know. I have to be professional, you know, and I can't be vlogging all the time whilst we're working on something. Maybe I can vlog something, and otherwise, I will show you guys some of the pictures tomorrow. But I suspect tomorrow's vlog also won't be too long because of that photo shoot. And then we're gonna go out later that night. My friend's birthday is gonna be at a club. And as you might know, at clubs, they really won't let you film. I heard this club is quite strict with that as well. But we'll see. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you in tomorrow's one. Big hug from Berlin. Bye, guys.